right? So why the long snap? Have you ever done that before in any kind of consistent way? Yeah, I did it in high school. Um, I was actually our backup long snapper on the road uh, the last two years and, and my last year at Washington. So I've been doing it. Um, and then it's just something to really add value. You know, if I can play linebacker, do special teams, um, and long snap is just something that, you know, maybe teams might find useful. Are you completely healthy now? Yes, sir. Your biceps is? Biceps are doing really well, yeah. Were you disappointed you weren't invited to the combine? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I thought, uh, I, thought I had shown that I, you know, deserved to be there, and, um, but, you know, it's not really up to me. So it's something that you move, you move on and uh, you just keep working and, and keep your head down and so, yeah. You, you did get to go to the Senior Bowl, so what did you take away from that? What kind of feedback did you get? From, from uh, I got some good feedback from the Senior Bowl. I think I had a, a good week of practice and a good game there. Made some plays. It was good to get back out on the field. Yeah. Post, you know, first, that was really the first thing I'd done um, post bicep injury. So it was yeah. good to get back out there and um, show that I can, you know, make sure guys don't forget about me. Uh, but I got some good feedback. I, I had a good week, made some good plays, and was around the ball. Are you getting any? Have you talked to any GMs or scouts lately? NFL. Yeah, I've gotten to talk to some scouts. So you know, at the Senior Bowl, you get to talk to every team, and then um, had a few meetings here and there. So yeah. Anybody show particular interest? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Do they ask you legacy questions about your dad and just how you? I'm going to try to follow in his footsteps. Sometimes I think they try to keep it more, you know, focused on you, but that definitely comes up sometimes. Yeah. What? Did, what? what did, and what is your dad kind of? What kind of advice is he giving you going into this whole process and, and expectations? Um, he said that you know, there's a lot of frustration, mm -hmm. a lot of highs and lows. It's a lot of criticism that you're hearing because that's really all the process is. It's just people telling you why you can't uh, play in the NFL. So there's highs and lows, criticism. Just block it out, keep working, uh, and good things will happen. And, and you got to find, you know, you got to find a situation that a team appreciates what you bring to the table. And then after that, it's about football. Do you expect, Go ahead. Do you expect to get drafted? Uh, I would love to. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if I got drafted, but it really doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just excited to to be with the franchise and and get to play football and show what I can do in the football field. You say that people will talk right now about why you can't make it in the NFL. Why can you? Why will you make it in the NFL? Um, I think I I care a lot about football. I think, I re, uh, I'm a, I think I've shown that I'm a good football player. I make plays. I'm around the ball a lot. I'm a good teammate. Um, I'm a really hard worker. Uh, I think I'm a pretty smart football player. I think I know what's going on on the field. Um, all the time, and uh, I just, I really enjoy football. And I think, you know, if you really enjoy football, it gives you a good chance. Is there somebody that you looked at the NFL where you, you would try to emulate his path, I guess, maybe? Either his path into the NFL or, or a playing style? Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, the Fred Warners and the Roquan Smiths are super fun to watch and, mm -hmm. and fun to try to learn from. Um, I really enjoy watching. Uh, Logan Wilson's a good player that I like watching. You know, some Matt Milano, some of the guys that are, are really good at what they do, but maybe not in yep. the talks of that top three linebacker, you know, that everybody's talking about. TJ Edwards, I think he's with the Bears now. He was with the Eagles uh, from Wisconsin. He's a really good player. He's an undrafted guy and ended up starting on a Super Bowl team. So um, those are those are guys I like to watch and, and learn from. Do you, uh, anything about your dad's game that you have similarities? That's a good question. I would love to know that. I assume I assume so, but he played just yeah. so long ago. There's no yeah. footage anymore. I mean, early 2000s, that's like ancient. I've covered the NFL for that long. <laughs> <laughs> and no offense to you. I'm just no, giving, no, no, no. trying that's to give good. him a hard time. Absolutely. No. I haven't, honestly, I haven't been able to find any footage of it, really. If Kyle, yeah, if, if Kyle or somebody could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. I got to talk to Foxy. Uh, Probably some black and white out there. Yeah, exactly. So this is kind of an offshoot question, is but if you're like on the draft bubble, right? Um, but you see a guy like Brock Purdy, who was the last pick, gets his opportunity, and now is a trench starter, starts in a Super Bowl. How does that trickle down to like at your guys' level? Was you're coming up, 
um, and give you hope of what you could do with an opportunity? Yeah, I think it's really neat to see. I think it, it I think it's different for uh, different positions. I think yep. quarterback, that's a pretty unique thing to happen. Yes. Um, linebacker, I think it's probably a little more common for guys to maybe go undrafted or get drafted late mm -hmm. and um, really have great careers and take advantage of certain opportunities. Yep. Uh, so I, that gives me, you know, if I were to go undrafted or if I were to go late, mm -hmm. um, that gives me a lot of, you know, there's a, it's been done before and it happens and it's it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Did, did, um, did you play much special teams at all? I did early in college. Uh -huh. The last couple of years I was pretty much just on punt. Yeah. Um, I was always on a special teams, yep. but I've done, I've played them all before, but there's more more when I was younger. Yeah. How difficult is it to not put too much emphasis on today, knowing that you have the film that you have, the production that you've had so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, you work out for 10 weeks for these specific drills and this specific day. So it's, it's hard not to sometimes get consumed with like the results of, you know, one rep of 5105 or one rep of L drill or, you know, the workout and there is film out there and, and all that matters, but uh, I think when you work out for something this specific for so long, um, you naturally kind of put a lot of weight into it, and sometimes maybe maybe too much. So, how do you feel like you did in terms of reaching the numbers you wanted to reach and all that today? I think there were some good, some not as good as I hoped. Uh, I think the workout went well, like the actual position stuff was good, um, but. Overall, was, I, th I thought it was a solid day. There were some things I'd, I would like to do better. I would like to get better numbers on, um, and some things that I, I got really good numbers on. So, do you run the forty at Senior Bowl? No. You run it at all? No, I didn't run it today. Reasoning? Uh, I just had a little setback like a week ago. Gotcha. I didn't want to. Fair enough. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I could do everything else. <laughs> That's right. So, what's the next steps for you now? Keep working out. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to some local pro days. Um, and then if any teams want to meet or any teams want to or talk or work out, then I'll do those. Uh, but until then, I'll just be working out and uh, getting ready for whatever's next. Awesome. Appreciate it. I'm Cam, and nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Appreciate it.